The Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, has declared a net operating surplus of 1.37 billion naira for 2023, marking a significant growth from the 837.94 million naira recorded in the previous year. This was announced by the outgoing president of the CIBN, Dr. Ken Okbara, during the institute annual general meeting in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedokun was there and now reports. It is the 2023 Army General Meeting, MAGM, an election of new officers who will steer the affairs of the Institute for the next two years. The outgoing president, Dr. Ken Okmara, gave an opening remark, which was preceded by a minute of silence in honor of their departed colleagues. Departed colleagues, of our heads, and mention them. Mark Osam, Professor Mali, is the man before he came a fool. Presenting his report, Dr. Ken Okmara said the Institute hit the billionaire mark, achieving a net operating surplus of 1.37 billion naira in 2023, which represents a 63.62% growth. Similarly, the total revenue grew from 2 trillion, 2 billion, in 2022 to 2.78 billion in 2023, representing again over 35% growth. Our total assets grew from 7.8 billion in 2022 to 9.1 billion in 2023. A common ratio for the year ended December 2023 stood at 50%, down from 59.4% in the corresponding period in 2022. The president expressed confidence that the CIBN will continue to work stronger financially despite the economic downturns. After the presentation of facts and figures, the external auditors affirmed that the financial position of the CIBN was in agreement with a book of accounts. The consolidated and separate statements of composite income, changes in equity and cash flow and the year. Then ended. And most of the consolidated and separate financial statements, including summary of significant and article. And it was commendation all the way for the outgoing president, Dr. Okmara, and his team for piloting the affairs of the institute in an unprecedented growth. You can hardly find an entity that achieves a reduction in price, especially in an environment where. Inflation is galloping. I was surprised to find that this were achieved a reduction in the ratio. So I think management has operated efficiently, and I also know that the council has done very well. So this is commendable, and I want management to continue to do those things that they've done that have led to this reduced cost of incorporation factor. So what does the report? Provided. As the past president, one of the things I've learned to our heart is to see that the strategy trust has been followed and we're growing in leaps and bounds. And I hope that the incoming president and his team will observe this and look at it and follow through. Each time we'll come and we'll look at account, I just have a bit older body that I don't see account to look at. So I want to commend you for what you've done. Professor Pius Omari Waju was elected as a new president of the institute, along with other elected officers for the 2024-2026 tenure. For the post of the president, we have Professor Omari Waju Pius Olaju Meiji, PhD, FCID, with 645. <laughs> yes. For the first vice president, we have Mr. Alabi Oladeli and In his acceptance speech, Alan Mwaji described the outgoing president as a great leader who had positioned the institute in a path for good and greatness. I said, it is a as 
we are preparing for this transition. That the very man that we left behind remained with us for a very long time. Because in came in, you know, without people thoughts, we won't be able to achieve the way we have achieved. We surpass all the expectations. We do want to see that goes from the pandemic of the ESCO and what we are witnessing today. Once again, I want to salute your courage and your dedication to duty. He thanked the leadership and members of the Institute and promised to build on the legacies of his predecessor. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.